Let's take some time today and look at the Transformers, Robots in Disguise, Autobot Sideswipe, and Autobot Jazz. Anyhow, going backwards, here is Autobot Sideswipe and Autobot Jazz in their package as they would appear on store shelves. These two look really great together, the popping red Sideswipe and the white and blue Jazz. Two really good figures to find together. On the back of the box, we have instructions for each. Pretty easy, about 10 steps each. These Transformers are very enjoyable because of the simplicity. We also have instructions for the downloadable apps by scanning your Transformer insignia and then being able to unlock and play them in the game. Uh, we also have a bunch of fine print, very interesting stuff here. Did you know that there is a warning for choking hazard? Small parts will be generated, not for children under three years. Yeah, so think about it. Outside of their packages, we have Sideswipe and Jazz. Sideswipe feels a little more fragile than most of the other uh, Robots in Disguise Transformers I've looked at. He's a little thinner and a little spindlier, but very well balanced for a robot toy. I really like this guy. He might be one of the best ones so far. And a great red popping color. Jazz is also terrific. He's a little wider, a little girthier, a little stronger. I uh, love the white and the blue and the red on him. He's just a very well balanced uh, robot as well. I uh, love how uh, sleek he looks. And I think will be a terrific one to goof around with. Yeah, easily said, but when you hear his bass shake the leaves off your trees, you won't think nicely of him. And this guy, he doesn't even leave a note once he hits your tree. He just drives off and no note at all. How rude. Well, let's see what Sideswipe looks like in vehicle form. Ten easy steps, they say. And there would be Sideswipe in vehicle mode. Not the most funnest transformer of this line to transform. I pretty much abandoned the instructions because they were really hard to read and just kind of went for it. Uh, not too bad when you just forget those instructions and just kind of fold those legs up how they should and all that, but he's a little complicated here and there. Sometimes I don't like the type of transformers that have a lot of these um, clear pieces with the little plastic things that kind of fit in here and there. They always feel really weak and I'm always just worried about them breaking so he kind of again is very fragile feeling. Uh, most of the other Robots in Disguise toys feel stronger to me except for maybe Grimlock. He broke his leg. I love bringing that up. Uh, so you know kind of a little tricky here and there. As a vehicle though looks pretty cool kind of this red what Lamborghini like uh, vehicle here with some markings very bright red but there's a lot of different reds going on his door panel red being on the plastic clear as uh, a different color than say his uh, fender red got a neat black top up here so there's some things going on with him that make him a little complicated uh, but still pretty fun little transformer overall uh, sword can fit up on top it looks like and I would imagine it would fit down here somewhere But I haven't really figured that out yet. Uh, I don't really see a spot for it So maybe it only fits up on top, but that is a side swipe and uh, he's pretty cool Except when he leaves red paint all over the side of your tree trunk So now we'll take a look at Autobot Jazz and transform him up a little bit Sorry about that. Devastator also came in this week and he's been just walking around and causing a lot of trouble. Anyhow, let's see what Jazz can do. And 
there is Jazz in vehicle mode. Kind of looks like a sleek United States Postal Service car if they got into muscle cars and such with the blue and the red on his panel there. Very much like a uh, mail truck. Sorry Jazz, I'm sure I'll get a lot of flack on that. Really cool though, sports car looking thing. Uh, very Jazz like, very musical. I think it'll be fun. Uh, pretty easy to transform, better than Sideswipe, although again I kind of just ignored all these nine, ten step instructions on the back and just kind of went for it. That's what I like about these Robots in Disguise toys is for the most part you can really figure out their transformations without going crazy. Uh, a few years ago with the last few movie lines and uh, some of the other uh, Transformers Universe lines, some of these can get overly complicated. Kind of felt like this guy was just about right for a good amount of play. And once you figure them out a little better, uh, you can transform them really quickly. There's this front panel here. It feels like it's flipping up a little bit on me. Uh, as for his weapon, you can store it up on top. And again, down here, I don't really see a spot to really fit it in. I know a lot of the other Transformers, you were able to kind of stick this down somewhere in them, but I don't really see a spot again, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, but an overall really nice, sleek, white looking sports car. So that is Sideswipe and Jazz, two really nice Transformers to add to your Transformers Robots in Disguise collection. I think both of them are quite a lot of fun and if you pick up either one or both, you will be quite pleased with the fun. Find them summer 2015, that's what I have to say about that. That's it, squirrel. I'm sick of you making fun of me. Oh, sorry, Jazz. Oh, that'll buff right out. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede.